హరే కృష్ణ వెల్కమ్ టు కృష్ణాస్ క్యూజిన్ ఐఎమ్ భువన్ సుందరి లత దేవిదాసి విత్ అ వండర్ఫుల్ రెసిపీ ఆన్ ద ఎవ్రీడే బేసిస్ చపాతి ఆర్ ఫుల్కాస్ బికమ్ అన్ అవుట్ స్టాండింగ్ చాయిస్ దిస్ ఆర్ వెరీ ఈజీ అండ్ క్విక్ టు ప్రిపేర్ చపాతి ఇస్ ఆల్సో నాన్ యాజ్ ఫుల్కాస్ ఆర్ ఇండియన్ ఫ్లాట్ బ్రెడ్స్ ఆర్ వెరీ మచ్ ప్రిఫర్డ్ అండ్ ఇట్స్ అ స్టెపుల్ ఫుడ్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా Srila Prabhupada always preferred hot chapatis and he always insisted the chapati to the perfectly cooked. Therefore, he personally taught his disciples to cook round, puffy and perfect chapatis. Many devotees had asked me to share this recipe, so here we are to cook amazing soft and puffy chapatis. So let's begin. First we will prepare the dough. In a mixing bowl add 2 cups of wheat flour. This is not the rough one. It is fine wheat flour. In this we will add 1 4 teaspoon of salt. Some prefer it and few don't. But I do add some salt. Next add 1 tablespoon of oil. Now mix all this roughly using a spoon. I have listed down all the ingredients with their measurements in the description box below. You can refer it. Now mix all this with palm. Add little water at once. Not too much water. To begin with, I have poured half a cup of water and knead the dough. There are many varieties of flat breads like parathas, chapati, bhakri or naan. All are based on the difference in the texture of the dough. I have kneaded it into a dry dough. We will add some more water, knead it. For making perfect fulkas, we need a soft and moist dough. Now you can see our dough is ready and totally I have used 1 cup of water. Lastly add 1 teaspoon of oil. And give it a final knead so that all the dough gets together and a bind. I have kneaded it thoroughly. Now cover it and let it rest for half an hour. It has been half an hour and transfer the dough onto the workspace. Dust some wheat flour and place the dough. Knead the dough for 1 to 2 minutes. It has been 2 minutes and the dough is smooth enough and ready. Now grab a dough ball and smoothen it. The size depends on you how big chapati you want. Now dust some wheat flour and place the dough ball on it. Now roll the chapati into thin sheet. You can see how easily we are able to roll the chapati. If needed, you can also use some more flour. Our chapati is ready. On the other side, I have heated the tawa. Now place a chapati and cook it on low flame. 
you can see few spot like bubbles are appearing now turn the chapati and cook this side on medium flame it has cooked this side also now using the tongs place the chapati on direct high flames you can see the chapati blowing easily and it's ready take it in a plate now we will roll another chapati every time we need to roll and cook the chapati rather than rolling all at once and cooking this is also ready now place the chapati on tawa turn the chapati and cook it now place the chapati on high flame you can see how beautifully they are blowing it is ready take it out in a plate similarly cook all the chapatis here i have made all the chapatis now apply some ghee on it and similarly apply it on all the chapatis our ghee laden chapatis are ready i have served it with sabji place a tulsi leaf and offer it to lord jagannath our soft and puffy fulkas are offered and ready do try it and let me know how it came for you if you like bhoga recipes please like share subscribe and click on the bell icon below so you do not miss any bhoga recipe always chant hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 ram hari ram 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 hari hari and be happy.